But yeah, how's it going? And today's topic is what are the most uh, common, what are the most common consonant across languages? Uh, in other words, are there any consonants that you can find in almost every languages? And the answer is yes. And those consonants are M, 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 M. Mm -mm. And the T, 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 t. these two consonants are very common. You almost can find it in every language. And the why? The reason being is uh, M is easy to to pronounce. This and the T, 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 t. your your uh, take of tongue is very flexible, so it's easy to make the T sound because you know. If you want to make a T sound, your take of tongue, you need to touch your uh, upper mouth, your alveolar ridge, and uh, you, you you produce that. So that's kind of easy, and also there's a reason like usually when the uh, when the kids uh, they want to when kids want to learn uh, their first language, they usually pick up these kind of two sounds uh, at first. So this is, uh, kind of makes sense, and uh, let me know if your language doesn't have uh, uh, these two consonants. Yeah, so let's review. Definitely in English, M and T is very common, uh, very common to see. And I would like to uh, share some these two consonants uh, in Chinese. So M is like in Chinese we also say ma mother is ma. Mama, so why is just ha it just so uh, happen that uh, the mother in Chinese and uh, in, in English also like very similar. Mama, uh, the reason the reason is when the, when the kid uh, first uh, uh, be able to produce certain sounds, M is one of them, and uh, definitely what a, what a child will will call. At first, definitely, is their mother, right? So that's why M is like a lot of uh, mother, mom, in a lot of languages is actually sounds very similar. Start with M. And as for T in Chinese, it's like yeah. Uh, let me let me think of one example for you. To 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 T T. Ta, ta. In Chinese, ta means uh, he, he. So yeah, there's also this kind of uh, uh, consonant. Or t, t means kick, 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 kick the ball, teach you, kick the ball. So yeah, that's definitely in Chinese, there's uh, these kind of consonants. And uh, let me give you one example in Japanese. Uh, um, mama, mama means so-so, so-so. Do you think it's good? Mama. Mata mata. Uh, means uh, not yet. Uh, I think it's not yet. I'm not really sure actually. And uh, so yeah, it's very common. Even in Japanese, right? And uh, T in Japanese is like uh, ta, Taka. Taka means high. So yeah, it's just, it's just randomly select, select three languages and they all have these two consonants so you can see how common these two consonants are definitely there's research to it's research proven so you can find a lot of re research uh, reviews on these they basically you, to analyze a uh, consonant the overlap across languages and they find they found out uh, these two consonants are most common you can find it in almost every language and yeah, and that probably can explain why the why the I mean the reason is uh yes easy to produce. And yes, that's all for today. And if you would like to receive more written uh, language learning video or like phonetics phonology videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, other than that, enjoy your enjoy your week. And I will see you next time.